Executor Tauros Dragonite, Crab Hammer, Alakazam Golem. You know, speaking about Crab Hammer, a lot of people were talking to me about their thoughts for Sword and Shield. And they're like, I really hope Grookey gets Wood Hammer. You know, because it has that stick, right? Um, I bet if Grookey doesn't get Wood Hammer. If the Grookey line doesn't get that, we riot. Like, Wood Hammer is so cool. I love Wood Hammer. Wood Hammer is like the best. All right, let's see. What do I want to lead against this, though? I don't have any ice attacks. That's a cool team, though. That's definitely a cool team. I think you need to lead Blastoise. Because Blastoise can check the Dragonite. Blastoise is a good fake out speed tier. And is there any setup? I, do I lead Blastoise like Jolteon? Ooh, that sounds spicy AF. I am going to lead Blastoise Jolteon. Like, Jolteon's so good, guys. Wait. Let's lead Blastoise Ninetales and try to make the magic happen. You guys ready to make the magic happen? Show of hands if you guys are ready to make the magic happen. I'm ready to make the magic happen. Ninetales about to top off. Scorbunny definitely gets double kick. I mean, probably. I mean, double kick's on a lot of Pokemon. Like, Nidoran gets double kick. Nidoking's not a fighting type. There's a lot of Pokemon that get double kick. I remember double kick used to be, like, one of my favorite moves back in the day. Double kick, like, I used double kick all the way to the end of the game in Gen 3. Like, Sky Uppercut, Sky Uppercut sucks. Just use double kick. You're talking about the blizzards? Oh, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Okay, okay. All right, so we got to fake out the, the uh, ride on. Hopefully he doesn't sludge bomb our nine tails, right? Please don't sludge bomb our boy. Please don't sludge bomb our boy. Please. Please don't sludge bomb nine tails. Please just Mega Drain. <laughs> get the Mega Drain. Let me get that nasty pot off. Let me get this nasty pot off. Let's go. He went with the perfect counter on nine tails, man. He went with the perfect counter. A Jolteon would have been such a good lead here. Because we're doing free screens. Now let's go for it. Hopefully we're not getting L Snipe-O'd. That would be a win. There we go. Fake out. There we go. Please don't sludge bomb. Don't you do it. There we go. I'm pretty sure Executor gets sludge bomb too, right? Doesn't he? I know it gets like... I know Lola 9... Uh, Lola Executor gets it. Mega Drain. Yo, that's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We got the damage now, Chief. Chief, the damage is online. Who's ready for the damage? Do I do it again? That'd be pretty greedy. Pretty greedy. All right, let's just go for the damage. All right. Let's go scald that one. You guys ready for the blizzards? Guys, RNG's up. It's about to be the big damage time right now. Who wants to eat this damage? Who wants to eat this damage? Oh, the double connections, the big blizzards. Oh my goodness, the RNG blizzard. Yo, talk about, yo, might as well call me Xerneas. A one with nine tails making the plays right now. Holy moly, that is humongous damage. Double blizzard hip hog. Yo, let's roll. That is so cool. RNGs for days, yo. Discount Zern. I mean, it's like an ice type too. I want to get. I want another one. Can I get two? And I just. I just do dazzling gleam from there. Like, what do you even send out? I got that to plus two right now. All right, let's see it. What do you think? He, what do you think he's gonna do? Tauros. Tauros is pretty good here. I might just. I might just protect. With nine tails and let him do whatever he's gonna do. Alakazam, okay. Blizzard does not KO that. And is it nine, is it a oh crab hammer? Alright, it's time. It is time to da -da 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 destroy Alakazam. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a uh, dazzling gleam here. Cause I don't wanna miss. I think uh dazzling gleam plus scald can kill the Alakazam here. And he, he can't one-shot my Ninetales. So, like, I'm okay. He's going Mega Alakazam. Holy moly, this man wants it. Yo, sign him up for something. Alakazam. Yo, outspeed to succeed. Don't crit me. Oh, you can, you can totally KO my boss choice. I wanted to bring my Kangen anyway. Let me get that Kangen, though. Alright, Dazzle him. Look at this big damage. Look at this big damage. Oh my gosh, almost dumpstered the kid. No, superpower! That's single that's a uh, neutral damage. Ah, he's so big! Alright, well, that sucks. It's okay though. We have more fake out We have another one and another one. I wonder how the wild air will work. I have no clue. But you know what I do know? Fake out Alakazam. Hit another dazzle. Another one. Ninetales gonna get every single KO this game, guys. Well, I mean, Blastoise got one, but like, not, it was set up by Ninetales. I wonder if he actually has Protect on the Alakazam. I wanna see it. 
Show me what you got. Okay, would any of you guys actually thought that a Lola Tails would be this oppressive? What changed the envir environment and Pokemon found there? I have, I have no clue. I think there's multiple wild areas. I think that's how it kind of works, right? Switching in a Tauros to eat the big damage. I can see that. Switching in a Tauros to eat that big damage. Fake out. If we crit this Tauros, that's, that's the big damage. Dazzling, look how big we got. One, two, three, eyes on me. Big damage. I'm pretty much like a Sylveon right now. Like, I got, I got the big damage. Give me Alkazam, right? I think I'm going to Mega Sucker Punch to gain the damage boost. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we're going to Mega Sucker Punch. I want the Alkazam Dunzo. And Taurus has to be Jolly to be able to outspeed with Ninetales. Remember, Taurus is base 110. Ninetales is base 109. So Jolly Taurus can outspeed us. But if he's anything other than Jolly, he's going to be in for a bad time. The Sucker Punch can probably kill Alkazam too. I'm thinking it is. But we'll see. What do you guys think? Going Mega Kanga. Kanga, Kanga, Kanga's not popping it off. Mega's up. Let's go. Sucker Punch. Give me those big KOs. What? Are you recovering? Call mine. I don't know about that one, Chief. Ah, I still think that's greedy. Because I, I still I think you might like still almost die. That's Abe. I, I, I will see if this works for him. He has to KO my Ninetales with his Tauros then with like a Rock Slide. Oh, he uses Rock Slide. Oh, he missed the Rock Slide. Well, you know what? He made the right play. Shout out to our opponent for being so good because like he's good. That was the right play. Call mine to block the Ninetales and stuff like that. Uh, Tauros would have KO with Rock Slide, but that was the right play. Let it be known. 100% right play from our opponent. It's just uh, sometimes I'm a little bit lucky. Sometimes I'm lucky. Oh, Dragonite? Oh, it's a Dragonite! You guys see that Dragonite over there? You know Dragonite? The thing that gets absolute. You know that that dragon flying type? Like, I could Blizzard, I could... I'm just gonna... I should still KO it. Oh my gosh, Dragonite? I don't even know if Dragonite's one-shotted by Dazzling Gleam. I don't want to miss a Blizzard, though. I do not want to miss a Blizzard. And Dazzling Gleam's single target can probably take it out. Because if we Sucker Punch the Alakazam, I think the Dazzling Gleam's single target can take it out. He can't switch anymore. He's pinned. He's absolutely pinned. Sucker Punch making the connections. He's daring me to Blizzard. Nah, 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 nah. nah. I don't have to Blizzard. I got that big, super effective. That's a plus 2D Gleam. Never even heard of it. Dragonite. Ninetales. Whew. Yo, that's what you do with Ninetales. People, th people sleep on this Pokemon and let's go doubles. This is a win-win for sure. Oh man, that was that was destructive. That was super destructive. With a crit. Oh, did I crit? I didn't even want to crit. But I'll take it. Looks like we gotta give him a run back just because. Gotta give him a run back just because that wasn't fair. Alright, game two. Let's make this one a fair fight. I mean if I lead nine tails, is he gonna is he gonna tunnel on it? You know? Like, if I lead Ninetales, is he just going to absolutely tunnel on it? I think he would. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it like this. I'm going to make Ninetales the master baiter. He's going to go all in on stopping that Ninetales. You going to do anything in that game? Yo, it's almost like I play the game, right? All right, here we go. Let's go into the game, guys. All right. What do you guys, what do you guys think is gonna happen in this game? I think he's gonna go like Tauros lead. I think Tauros is a good lead. Tauros Alkazam maybe? <clears throat> Tauros Golem, very similar. Tauros Golem are very similar. All right, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna go Mega Zam in this game. Or sorry, Mega uh, Gyarados. Yeah. Just gotta watch out for Kingor, I think. I'm just gonna go for a regular Dazzling Gleam. I think I might need it to kill the Golem. And it'll chip the Tauros to put it within range for Garros next turn. He's really trying to set these rocks. So as long as he doesn't flinch me with a Rock Slide, I think we're okay. I think we're okay as long as he doesn't flinch me with those dang rocks. Let's go, Gyarados. Show me what you got. Kinda late, but how's it going? It's going absolutely false. He, yo, 
Look at that straight double edge. He's done with Nine Tails. He's like, yo, I'm so done with her Nine Tails existing. He has PTSD after that game one. That should be enough damage to make us a golem gets taken out by waterfall here. Because remember, that's a, a low and golem, so it's only two times weak to water, and a low and golem has like such a huge base defense that you gotta go for like actual like double up into it. So let's see. I want to see if he sends out Kingor here. If he sends out Kingor, I'm gonna play this a little bit differently. If he sends out Kingor, I think I'm gonna go for. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what. I'm gonna yeah, I know what I want. I'm gonna tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I'm gonna protect. That's what I want. And let's see, let me get soften both of them up. If Kingor doesn't agility this turn. Like, I think he's gonna go super power double edge. So we'll see. He might even have a rock side or something. Double edge, there it is. Perfect. Please don't agility. Please don't agility. He, he's gonna agility watch. He's so good. I know he's good. Super power. Alright, I'll take those. Oh, that's so good for me. That's so good for me. Because we got El Jolteon coming in here. Jolteon. Ninetales isn't the only threat in this team. But that guy was like, I am not losing to Ninetales again. And I'm like, that's completely fair. Completely fair to not lose the Nine Tails every game. We're gonna go for a crunch on the Tauros, because remember he has the Alakazam and Dragonite in the back, so you wanna crunch those. And uh, we're just gonna go for a big Thunderbolt. The biggest Thunderbolt you've ever seen. So Thunderbolt will be able to take out that crab. The crab battle. And uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, swing this board in our direction. He's withdrawing. Who's switching in? Is it Dragonite? Ooh, that's really? Executor, great switch in there. Um, he's gonna be able to get Rock Slide or Double Edge Damage up on one of these guys. Let's hope I get- I wanna get a Para even though I don't need it. Let me get that Para. Damn, Double Edge. He's so fast. It's not gonna take out our Jolteon without a- Oh, he's taking that one out? I can kinda see that. I can see it. I should've actually hit the Executor slot. Cause that would've- uh, the way it worked is, uh, Thunderbolt would've been redirected into- Sorry, Crunch would've been double- eh, It would've redirected into the Tauros if I got the KO in the first place, so. A little bit of a my, little bit of my fault. Charizard's Gigamax looks really cool. I hope his shiny stays black and red when Gigamaxing. It might. See, I don't think he actually has. Like, I don't think. Well, we'll see how I want to do this. I'm gonna go for a crunch here on the Executor, and I'm gonna go for a white screen because I want to know what he does. He's gonna obviously go Mega, but like, Dazzling Gleam ain't it, Chief. And if you want to start like calm mining or protecting or literally whatever you're doing. Gotta say, this guy's commitment to his shiny game is real. Yeah, shiny Executor is one of my favorites. And note that he, like, doesn't have shiny Kingler, and, like, because shiny Kingler is dumb looking. So, like, this guy's doing everything right. I would agree with you. But, yeah, we're going for, um, Crunch to the KOD Executor, because Executor really pins our Blastoise. And we're going for a light screen here. Really gonna neuter that Alex Sam's effectiveness. Note that he didn't Mega. Did he already Mega this game? I don't remember. Either way, we take those. Alex Sam's gonna go for a Psychic onto the Jolteon. Big damage, but your light screen, yo. Big damage. Look at the power of light screen. I have Shining Charm and Ultra Sun, and we'll go to Sword and Shield. Yo, that's awesome. We're gonna take out that guy. That's a plus plus. How's it going? How's it going, my friend? It's going okay. I'm a little bit sick. But you just missed the best sweeps of all time in the last game. This is game two right now. You're gonna definitely have to go back and watch that one. That was definitely one of the... What is it? The history books. I think I'm just gonna nuke the Dragonite, because Dragonite is much more of a threat than Alex Sam at this point. We got the big, we got those big screens up. And yeah, Nine Tails went in last game. I think Thunderbolt Crunch could take out. Seriously, I'll watch the VOD. Yeah, I know it's super good. Like Nasty Pot Nine Tails just tore this guy apart. But let's go. Uh, Dragon should get taken out by Crunch Thunderbolt. I'm thinking it does. If I don't take this guy out, that's actually really bad. Like I think he might also like protect all because I'm an Earthquake this turn. There's a couple things he could do. I don't think I don't think he's protecting with the Dragonite. So I think that this is by far the right play. Let's go Mega. I will see it, you know. I could have sworn the Shiny Charmander took like 80 eggs. I believe it. I believe it. Right, here we go. Alexander's gonna Calm Mind right in my face. He's Calm Minding. Like right in my face. Good thing I could care less. Now right, let's take this Dragonite out, please. Remember, Gyarados has 81 speed, which means it's faster than Dragonite's 80, so the only way Dragonite can outspeed our Gyarados is if he's jolly. It's a lot of damage. Yo, we do outspeed Adamant Gyarados. Survey says we take out that Dragonite. Dragonite, never even heard of it, yo. Never even heard of it. Dragonite takes the L. 
He has Kangor in the back. He got the horses in the back. And uh, Jolteon should be able to live out a Psychic from Alexam thanks to the uh, light screen that we put up a little bit earlier. So Kangor comes out. We are going to go for a Crunch on the Alakazam and a Thunderbolt on the Kangor. Crit might have mattered. Yeah, maybe. I think if uh, Thunderbolt was doing that much, uh, Crunch would be Crunch is fine. Do you plan on transferring your Pokemon to Sword and Shield? I mean, maybe eventually once Pokemon Home comes out. Crit that Dragonite two times in a row, and both times they didn't matter, in my opinion. So Psychic. Now, I don't think he kills Jolteon. I know he has a plus one right now, but like Light Screen. Oh, just kidding. Is that a crit? Okay, wow, the power of Mega Alakazam is so strong, so strong. Good thing we, we, we still got the Crunch off, but I thought I was going to live. Like, I thought I was going to live, and you know what? Gyarados is going to be going down to the Super Power from Kingler. Kingler, an absolute beast right now. Good job for you, Kingler. Now, what do I have in the back? I think I still have Kang. I think Kang's pretty good. I think I have Kang and Aerodactyl. Let's see, I think they have Blastoise, too. Yeah, we have Kang. The Alakazam destroyed him. Oh, yeah. But, like, we also had a light screen up. Like, we had a light screen up, and he did that much. That's a power of plus one, plus Calm Mind. I Calm Mind plus the Mega Form. Because before the health that we were at, like, the 30% was from a non-Mega Psychic. All right. All we got to do is pop those big fake outs. Fake out, wing attack, facade, wing attack, and we got this. No, even, Not even a reason to go for Rock Slide Misses right now. Alakazam's busted. Yeah, uh, right now I'm actually in the process of making a tier list video uh, for Let's Go Singles and Let's Go Doubles. And uh, Alakazam's pretty good at both of them. Let me tell you what. Alakazam is pretty good at both of them. So we go for a big facade and another wing attack to finish this guy off. But yeah, the guy played a great set. Love the team. It's just he wasn't ready for our boy Ninetales. Ninetales, I think, tilted him a little bit. And then he went like all in to stop it in game two. And game two is a little bit closer, but... We take those wins, yo. We take those wins all the way to the bank. Ninetales. Pretty good Pokemon, turns out. I like all these guys' nicknames. Nightmare Snorlax. You'll love seeing that. All right, let's see. Man, a fire attack or a ground attack would be great if we had any of those for that Magneton, but we don't. So Magneton's going to be a really big problem. Magneton's going to be a hard problem. Magneton is going to give us some problems. So we actually have to lead, like, Gyarados and, like, dump truck that Magneton. We have to, like, lead with stuff that can actually like, trap the Gyarados and dump truck that Magneton, I think. Because that's the Pokemon that's the biggest issue right now. I think you want to go Gyarados and... I don't want to go Aerodactyl Gyarados, do I? I will. I think Crunch Waterfall can take it out. I think Crunch Waterfall can take out a Magneton. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? How did that tournament you were playing for a while ago go? Uh, it went alright. I got... Third, or sorry, I got top eight in two of the events and top 32 in one of them. Uh, we actually streamed a lot of the games with those teams, and they're going to be coming to the Patreon and the YouTube relatively soon. So yeah, it was a fun tournament. I have another one in like uh, like two weeks. Portland Regionals is in a couple weeks. So that's going to be a lot of fun too. Actually, Portland Regionals is like two weeks from now. Damn it, he needs to show that Magneton, because like that's the problem. It's all right. Here we go, Gyarados absolutely popping off right now. I don't actually think I need to go Mega Gyarados. I, what do I need Crunch for? I don't, I, I can just go regular Gyarados right now. Yeah, let's go for that big damage there. Actually, it's a better idea to double into the Pinsir. Because if he doesn't go Mega, the Waterfall will get redirected. So we're going to Waterfall the Pinsir and Mega Evolve Rock Slide. The only way this doesn't work if Pinsir protects, but like I don't know if he will. So we're making they're making the game do our work for us, right? So Rock Slide's gonna do massive damage to that Pinsir. Remember, it is super effective. If he goes Mega Pinsir, which I think he is, he gets just one shot by Rock Slide, and then our Waterfall, which is also targeting the Pinsir, will get redirected into the Snorlax. And so it's a lot better than just targeting the Snorlax with the Waterfall. And of course, this play loses to like protect Pinsir, because then we just like don't get the redirection that we want. But obviously, like I said, it looks like he's going Mega. And we want to be able to deal the most amount of damage we can while also having the game's AI work for us. We're going to have the game's targeting work in our, in our favor. Big damage. Pinsir gets taken out. And just like I said, the waterfall that was originally targeting the Pinsir will now get redirected into the Snorlax. It's not going to waste your waterfall. And it just, it looks like I just targeted the Snorlax, but what he doesn't know is we're like, big brain blaze 9000. 
and we get the flinch. Are we rewarded for our correct play? Yes, we are. That's what I'm talking about. What would you say some of the best team cores are for singles battles in this game? We're going to try something new and interesting. Well, I have a video coming out tomorrow, maybe, maybe the next day, talking about my top 25 Pokemon for Let's Go Singles. Maybe you can actually take some ideas from that, but overall, uh, I think most teams that have like Venusaur and Snorlax are pretty good. Those are pretty good defensive core. Uh, Aerodactyl goes pretty well with things like Alo and Dugtrio. Believe it or not, you can go like Aerodactyl, Alo and Dugtrio, and then sort of some sort of water resist like a Starmie. That's also pretty good. Let's see, what is useless? What's useless? What Pokemon is that? Waterfall targeting. Oh, it's a Starmie. I can crunch it. Crunch won't KO though. I'm just gonna waterfall the Snorlax and crunch the Starmie. I enjoy Let's Go Doubles more than singles. Me too. We're just gonna go for the double damage here. Crunch from Arrow does not KO Starmie unless he's made wrong. Yep, that's about right damage. We get a defense drop that we didn't really need. The reason why we're doing this first is because I don't want to get scalded. So there's a Thunderbolt. Can we not? Ow! Ow! Why? That did so much! That did way too much damage. Rest Snorlax, okay. That's fine. All right, so now I just need to come out. It's actually time. Chat, are you ready? Are you guys ready? I haven't tried doubles a lot. I may try that too, and thank you for the feedback. Yo, anytime. You guys know that. You guys know what time it is though, right? It's about time. It's about place. It's about time to nine tails up, boys. Yo, let's go. Nasty plot. Rockslide should be able to kill the storm if we can make connections. Here we go! He's withdrawing. Please just send in the damn Magneton. Like, beauty. That's three eyes is the Magneton. Oh, nine tails versus nine tails, huh? He's trying to pull a fast one on me right now, I see. Big game. I'm gonna need a second one of those in just a sec. I'm gonna go to that's plus four on my nine tails right now, okay? I'm gonna go to that's plus four on this nine tails. Holy moly, that's some big damage. That's big damage. You play doubles, Charizard and Electro are my favorite pairs in Let's Go. They're pretty good. Snorlax is still asleep, obviously. He used rest. And you know what? We don't have to say about Nasty Plot. One good Nasty Plot deserves another. Hope we can hit the Nine Tails here. Ready to see the pain. Yeah, I mean, I just have to get that Magneton off the board, guys. Magneton is the huge, the huge problem right now. Rock Slide. Yes, we make connections to that Nine Tails. So important. And we are now, that's a plus four. Crit on the Nine Tails. I'll take those. Love seeing the shiny Nine Tails as well. Holy moly! Plus four. Show me Magneton. I want. I want to show you how much damage this D Gleam does. He's gonna do a lot. We'll see it. I mean, you can't send out Starmie here. Starmie ain't it right now. You says that Starmie. Okay, I want plus six. I can't go plus six right now. I'm just doing for the dazzling wings. Dazzling, I don't want to miss, and it's okay. I'm just gonna kill the Starmie and go for uh, dazzling wing. Yo, poet man, how's it going? So Starmie's getting taken out. Big crunch right there. Didn't want to miss a rock slide, and I, the Snorlax wakes up this turn, so like I didn't want him to like wake up and like body slam paralyze my Nine Tails, because like Nine Tails is set. Oh my gosh, get that out of here! I noticed most of the one version of Gem One are made with their typing to lose their counter counterpart. Yep, that's kind of how they go, for the most part. Let's see though, is it finally Magneton time? Noob idea. This is Venomoth. Well, that's gone. And three eyes. How much damage can Magneton take? It resists it resists my move. This is actually the right play. Watch what we do here. We're gonna protect nine tails. And we're just gonna go for a rock slide. Ooh, I actually Yeah, it's still rock slide. I was gonna say I could wing attack the Venomoth, but it won't KO. Actually, we don't need it. Actually, now the right play is actually rock slide and Yeah, the right play is rock slide and deep gleam. Dazzling gleam! And Rock Slide. Both. And we're going to flinch the Magneton. We don't even deserve to flinch the Magneton, but I'll take the flinch Magneton. We need to get rid of the Venomoth, guys. That's actually a really big thing. And it doesn't actually get KO'd by one Rock Slide. That's why you actually have to go for it. Because like, uh, in singles it would KO, but in doubles it doesn't. So you actually need to add it to the D-Gleam. That's so much damage to resist a Magneton. 
Got a Caillou, my guy. I'm good. Uh, yo, I'm sick, but I'm glad you're here. He's going flash cannon. Who you hitting? Don't hit my boy Ninetales. Not like this. Ninetales, no! No, Magneton. I, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Magneton's busted, guys. Magneton's busted. But it's okay. Because we have the damage. I think it's a better idea to actually send out uh, Blastoise here. Good fake out. And it's his last mon anyways. So he's fake out crunch, and then we should be able to get the rinse from PB. He's a little squeezy on this guy. Can't believe we beat that Magneton, though. He saved, he would, he did actually save the best for last, because like Ninetales, Ninetales is popping off right now. Fake out, I don't even think Crunch KOs here. It's neutral damage, but like, we'll see. Two Crunches will do it for sure, though. Big damage. Magneton goes down. For Charizard, I run Flamethrower, Air Slash, Solar Beam. I don't know about Solar Beam. I don't know about Solar Beam and doubles. We tried that, it didn't really work. We take those wins against Miguel. Ninetales will not be defeated right now. Same lead. I think he's going to lead Starmie this time. I think he's gonna actually going to lead Starmie Magneton, and that's what I don't want to see. But we'll see how this goes. I think he's going to lead Starmie Magneton. What do you guys think he's going to lead? Uh, Starmie Magneton's a pretty solid lead for him. He pretty much knows I don't have. Magneton's an issue for your team? Oh, it definitely is. Yeah, Magneton's really good. People sleep on Magneton. Very, very underrated Pokemon, I would, I would say. There. Oh man, this person's this they're icing me. You don't have EQ on anyone? No, I don't. There's no EQs, there's no fire attacks. There ain't no nothing. Just got just gotta bulk it down. Just gotta like that's a plus six like that's a plus six calm mind nasty pot destroy him. Here we go. Going into game two. Last time Ninetales got that good setup on him because he popped that wreck that rest with Snorlax and let us get all set up. I really just want to get the Magneton off the board if he weeds it. Last time my Gyarados went down to a Starmie. So let's see. Nightmare in three eyes. Looks like it's Snorlax. Yeah, Snorlax Magneton. That's totally fine. That's fine. I can take this guy out. The double crunch should be able to take this guy out. Maybe a waterfall. I think I might waterfall crunch it. Because I was still KO with Starmie switching. Yeah. I think waterfall crunch can KO this guy. That means I don't want the Mega though. That means I can Mega with my Gyarados. Or my uh, Aerodactyl. Let's do that though. And that should be enough to take this guy out. We should be outspeeding Magneton, right? Gyarados outspeeds Magneton, am I right? Magneton's fast, but like, ain't that fast. Gyarados is 81 base speed. I think Magneton's like, 70? No, Magneton might be faster than Gyarados. This could backfire. We can't hit Mega with it. <laughs> we'll see what happens, guys. Get the big crunch right now. Not that much damage. Defense drop. I'll take it. I might need it. Oh, I'm so fast. Oh, thank goodness. Good thing about that defense drop, too. I'll take it. Magneton goes down. That's right. If you had three eyes, why couldn't you see that one coming? Right. Yo, freeze, please. I thought he was going to freeze me. I was really feeling the freeze right there. Holy moly. Oh, man. Let's see what he says out. Not OP. There's the pincer. That's his only mega Pokemon. So, like, he has to go mega with that. I don't think he should Mega. I think he should just like not Mega. And we're gonna do the exact same play. Uh, Waterfall goes into the pincer slot and Rock Slide gets redirected into Snorlax. It's the exact same game, except for uh, he's already down his best Pokemon. So I'll take those all the way to the bank. Those wins up. Uh, let's see if he does something different though. Let's see if he knew that I was making that play last turn. He would text his pincer. Oh, he's so good! Yo, yo, that adaptation. You love seeing it. That's smart. That's really smart. I wonder, I wonder if he's going to self-destruct. Show me self-destruct, Chief. I'll actually take a self-destruct right now. Or I'll also take some flinches. That's smart. Ice punch again. Hopefully we won't get frozen. Oh, we're just dead. Wow. Oh, I'd rather be dead than frozen. Good play from our opponent, though. Smart play. Do I want to bring this in right now? I'm going to do it. It's time. It's time, chat. Let's go, Ninetales. Show me what you're working with. I'm going to go for Blizzard. It's Blizzard time, boys. About to be ice cold. It's going Mega now. I wonder if he has Rock Slide on that set. It's hard to say. 
Don't see it. What do you got, Chief? Damn rock slide. Blizzard. Oh my goodness, we're so big. Double Blizzard hit, by the way. Double Blizzard, give me a freeze. Oh, freeze, I'll take it. That's one freeze. And the super power from Pinsir. Into a Gyarados? Chief, I don't know about that one. You know I already mega right? You know I already mega It's okay, though. Mega Pinsir is one of your favorite designs. A lot of people like Mega Pinsir. Alright, yo. I'll be taking those. I wonder if that's going probably KOs here, right? Oh, he just DC'd! Yo, I take those, man. I take those all the way to the bank. We take those. Me like, stay salty, my friend. Stay salty. Can't feed Ninetales? Can't feed Ninetales. Stay salty.